All right, so in this episode, we're going to be making some cedar raised bed garden planters. So I'm going to be using two by material for this. Uh, the, the order was, uh, it, they're pretty large planters. So they're going to have about 30 cubic feet of dirt in them. Um, so I actually recommended to the client, uh, I, you know, that we should probably do uh, two by material instead of the regular five eighths, uh, the five eighths inch. Um, and the reason why is because that's a lot of weight. So the client agreed. So we're going to get these built again. I'm using uh, two by sixes. Now for the smaller planters, yeah, it is okay to use the five eighths inch, uh, but these are going to be five footers. So again, I'm going with the two by and with that said, let's get dirty. So I'm going to start with one of the five foot pieces and I also have the 22 inch piece here and I'm going to use a 90 degree clamp to help me uh, get these lined up properly. So I'm going to get them nice and square and then I'm going to tighten it down. All right, now I'm just going to use my combination square and I'm just going to draw a line right up the top. And I'm going to make a guideline for where I'm going to put my screws. So I want to do three pilot holes, and then I'm going to countersink them. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I, I got this corner done. Now I'm going to add some support to it. And I'm going to do that by clamping down this 2 by 5 that I cut. And I'm going to put two pilot holes back here and then I'm going to put three here so it's just going to give it more strength I'm going to set my combination square to about the middle of this piece of wood here from the side and then I'm just going to draw my line up so now I have that line that I can put the pilot holes in and then again two screws so I'm using two and a half inch deck screws here. All right, now I'm going to set my combination square to about the middle of this piece. And again, I'm just going to draw a line up. And on this one, I'm going to put three pilot holes and three screws. So now that we have this one done, we're going to go ahead and work on this side over here. We're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to use a... 90 degree clamp, set our midpoint, and we'll just draw the line up. And again, three pilot holes, and then three countersinks. All right, put the other framing piece on. Again, just gives it a little bit more strength. Gonna find that halfway point. Now that we have our halfway point, we've got it set on the combination square. So here on the side, we're gonna do the two pilot holes, Two, two countersinks and two screws. And then on the, the front side here, we're going to do the three pilot holes, three countersinks, and three screws. Now, when I'm doing the pilot holes here, because remember we put three uh, screws going from piece to piece. So when I'm doing the two, I'm going in between the three. So I have three on the on the side and I'm going to do the two coming in like this so I'm just going to have two going in here holding this piece all right so now we have it flipped around so we can get started on this other side doing the same process just get everything all squared up set your clamp Okay, so I have the base done with these four posts in. Now what I want to do is I want to actually put a couple posts here in the middle, just like so. So I already have my halfway uh, point measured out. So I'm just going to line that up, clamp it down, and put some pilot holes in there. All 
All right, so I have this one done. I'm just gonna put one on the other side. Okay, so we have the base done with our posts. Now the next thing we wanna do is we wanna start building it up. So we've got three more boards to add on all the sides, but it's gonna be pretty easy now because we've got the posts in and we got the base done. So it's just a matter of kind of lining them up and you just basically screw them in. So let's get started on that. Now the good thing is, is that I already have my line drawn um, on the bottom piece where I want the screws. So I can just use this square and just continue to draw my line upwards. So I just put one screw in there for now and that's just to hold it in place while I put the side piece on. That way I can build it up and then I can come back and just put all of the screws in. Because right now I'm, I'm having to transfer drills all the time. And this way if I can just get one board in, I can use the one drill and just go all the way around. Now if you only have one drill, it's even more complex for you uh, because you've got to change the bit every time. So just go ahead and get it to where it's partially assembled and then you can come back and do all of your drill holes and then do all of your countersinks and then, you know, put in all of your screws. But just remember as you're going up, if you don't have a big enough square, just continue to draw your line up from the bottom so you always have a nice straight screw line going all the way to the top. And if you're so unfortunate, you lose power. Now I know all my drills and stuff are cordless, um, but I can't see. So I'm gonna have to continue this later. So we're getting a little bit different angle here. Um, I transferred the project from my table saw onto my, my little spinny table. This is actually pretty easy to make. Uh, if you have one of those old office chairs that you know, has the wheels. Um, you can, you can, it's so easy just to put a little table on it. And then it actually doubles as a, a great table. Got the inspiration for that from my daughter-in-law who does hair because I have, they have those carts that have all their tools on them. So I just grabbed one of the old broken desk chairs that we had and attached the table to it. And now I've got a, a table I can spin and work and roll around. It's fantastic. Anyway, but moving on. So we've got it built. All the we've got all the pieces on. Now what I want to do is I cut some uh, one and a quarter inch cedar, cedar uh, decking cedar, and I want to put a frame around the top. So that's going to be our next step. Now I'm going to put that on with glue and two inch brad nails. So we got the frame on, our last step is to seal it. We're gonna use this garden seal. Now this uh, garden seal is a satin finish. It's non-toxic. So if the customer wants to use uh, this uh, raised bed garden for edible vegetables, this is definitely recommended. So we can go ahead and seal this thing. Um, this is water-based, so it's simple water cleanup but let's get the seal on. So it's, it's a pretty simple build. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, until next time, keep it safe.